I want to hear better. Amen. Amen. Maximizing moments. There are moments that the Lord brings in your life that you get to learn how to maximize them. Amen. Say, this is my season. This is my time. Maybe your neighbor, your voice should be louder than your neighbor. Say, this is my season. This is my, this is my time. If your neighbor is not shouting, I want your own to pass that neighbor. Say, this is my season. This is my time. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. How many of you have ever been to a situation when you see people giving powerful testimonies and you feel like God, when will I testify? If you've ever been there, let me see you by a show of hand. You've seen people giving powerful testimonies over the same, same thing you have also been praying about. Some of them, they may have not prayed longer enough. Some of them, they have not, may have not gone through what you have gone through. But you see them giving testimony in the same, same area. And you feel like, God, this round, I must testify. If you are here, shout amen. amen. You are feeling this round, I must testify. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. Shout well, I receive it. Say with me, I receive the one. I believe the one. I work on the one. And the word works on me. You need to understand that this life, there are times and there are seasons. There was a time when you were in school. Now you can't go back to that time anymore. There was a time when you were young. Sometimes we remember. There's nothing you can do about it. If they give you those things we use for ladies that we used to use to cook, you know, there's no fire. You're cooking with water and sand. And you're seriously cooking with the leaves. And you're serious. Now, if you're taken back there, they will call you mad. It's only madness that can qualify you to go back there. Are we in agreement? And if you see your children doing that, you have no problem because that is their time. That is the season they are in. In life, we have seasons. Now, what is very sensitive that I want you to understand today that seasons come and seasons go. Mm -hmm. Seasons come and seasons go. And I will tell you why people use the word I wish I knew. It's two reasons. Number one, the reason why you hear people say I wish I knew is for two reasons. Number one, Either they did not know how to hear God's voice well. So then, they followed the voice of man or they followed their own voice or the voice of their circumstances. So that the spiritual deafness makes men and women to regret. Because you make a step in life without hearing the voice of God and then you realize the step you made was a wrong step. Are you following what I'm saying? Number two, the reason why people regret in life because they never learn to discern their moments. There was a time of your elevation, but you never sensed and reigned with it. There was a time of your promotion, you never sensed and reigned with it. There was a time of you to be lifted, but you never discerned that time, and that time passed you by. I pray your season after this encounter will not pass you by. I don't like the way some of you are talking. I say, I pray your season after this encounter will not pass you by. Amen. So you need to understand life is designed that way. And so, you need to pull your spiritual antenna very high. So that nothing that belongs to you passes you by. And I pray, nothing that belongs to you shall pass you by. I don't know why I came to talk to. I pray nothing that belongs to you shall pass you by. So you need to learn how to maximize your seasons. Because it's not always Christmas. Learn how to maximize the season you are in. It's not always Christmas. I thought somebody's writing. We like people who take notes. Amen. Are you following what I say? You are rocking today. Ah. 
10 years from now, you may not be rocking anymore. You may not like me, but that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Now every month you have a salary and you can confidently take your ATM to check if your accountant has put something and if they delay to put it, you have a reason to, you know, say these people, they are not serious. We are working and they are delaying our salary. It's a season. A time may come when you're not going to check your account end month and you find something inside. Now what you do with that season will, it will matter when that account will not be receiving a lot every month. I, I thought I came to speak to somebody here. I just thought I came to speak to somebody here. Not every day is Christmas. So then learn how to maximize this grace. God has given it to us in this season. Those who will learn to run with it will enjoy divine speed. But those who will be walking behind masses will see people testify. I pray you don't see people testify. I pray you be one of them that shall testify. Maximize the season you are in. Christmas doesn't come every day. Look at your neighbor. If you have one, tell them neighbor. Please, if your neighbor is not talking to you well as if they are serious with your destiny, look for one who looks serious with your destiny. Tell them, neighbor, neighbor. Maximize, your maximize your season. Christmas comes and goes. Comes and goes. Tomorrow, may Tomorrow may not be the same. Did they look like people were hearing your voice? There was a time Pharaoh had a dream. Can I talk to somebody here? There was a time Pharaoh had a dream. And the dream was terrifying. And they saw seven bulls that were fat and seven bulls that were thin. But it was mysterious. That the seven that were looking very thin like they are dying were busy swallowing those ones that were very fat. Ha! This thing never left the king the same. Are you following me here? And a man that carried the spirit of God was seeked for. They said, I need a man that can tell me this dimension of a dream. People will look for you after this encounter. I don't like the way you are responding today. I said, people will look for you after this encounter. There are people who say, I wish I talked to her well. I wish I talked to him well. Now see how I've messed myself. Because the way God is going to promote you must call him Mahadeh Baladi. Seven fat ones are supposed to be the one to swallow the, the thin ones originally. But the thin ones were swallowing the fat ones. The king was terrified. And so then he seeked a man that can discern and interpret correctly. Joseph was invited. Nobody can tell the king what is worrying him. The spirit of God was upon him. The Bible says, he did not only remember the dream, he also interpreted the dream. He did not only interpret the dream, he was a man that understood seasons and times. He said, I know what God showed me. I, I thought I came to speak to somebody here. The Lord had originally shown him in a dream of his father, his mother, and his brothers bowing down to him. You remember that, that dream? And that dream brought issues between him and his brothers. After the dream, they took him into a pit. But God was waiting for him in the inside. Oh, I love this. God brought him out. When there is a destiny that is in your life and great, it doesn't matter how deep the pit can be. God will find a way to bring you out. And as I'm talking now, you may feel like you are inside the, in fact, you are, you are, the, you are the bottom pit. But the Lord said it can bring you up. I don't know why I came to talk to him. He said it can bring you out. So this is a point. So then there is a prophetic word upon Joseph saying your father must bow. Your mother must bow. Your brothers must bow. It's a prophetic word. 
It doesn't matter how long it takes. So then the word that was released upon Joseph walks with him into the pit and brings him out of the pit. So watch this. And then a businessman passes by and they think and they say now we have rethought. If we dip him there we would have lost. If we sell him we make money. And the money they made out of the sales of Joseph did not help them when famine was there. I don't like this church now. The money they made off from the sales of Joseph never helped them when famine was there. Father, help us tonight. There are things people may do for you. That one doesn't determine your end. Hmm. The last of you before them is not the last of you before God. I don't know where I came to speak to. But if I just came to speak to somebody with a destiny here. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? So then the seven years of famine swallowed the seven years of abundance. The interpretation. Joseph as a man and I pray God bring me daughters and develop daughters and sons in this church who can understand seasons and times and can tell and can discern and can say I can feel this is my time to be elevated. People that will not sleep in class, people that will not sleep in their time, people that shall not lazy in their seasons. I pray God raise such daughters here and those sons here. So then Joseph, don't worry, sit down. A man that understands seasons and times listens to the king speaking and he said this man is desperate and he need a woman like me who is not only a woman of God but has ability to understand the mind of God part time part time there are times your boss will call you and can I to some people here you know some of you you have a good relationship with your boss and your boss calls you and asks you some questions and you think he's just asking we are prophetic. Everything happened for a reason. Joseph was asked. Joseph saw opportunity. He says, sir, I will not leave this place where people don't come easily. This place is my mother born me. I've never stepped my legs. God has brought me. If I leave this place without something, I'm a stupid son of my father. Are you what I'm saying here? So then he does his work as a prophet. He says, sir, that says the Lord. There are things that will happen within the next seven years that you will enjoy food, see wealth, see money, see good health. But there is a time that there will be pain, reproach, anger, and everything. But what you do with the first seven years will determine if Christmas will come the next seven years. So what do we do then? Then Joseph tells him, then you need a man that has a spirit of the Lord. Joseph is the man. You need a man that can tell you the mind of God per time, per time. Joseph is the man. You need a man that can help. He says, sir, I don't need to do interview. Because the way you have spoken, I cannot get a human being like that. You are the one who is fit. And the Bible says the king wanted to put Joseph on top of everybody. So when the prime minister was not there before, position created. If you can design your moment well, even what was not there for you will be created for you. Mm, I don't like it. I say it will be created for you. Politicians know how to fight for their positions. Until government will create a ministry without portfolio. Just to have somebody factored in in that governance. And they will enjoy money for the rest of that tenure. And when that ruling is over, they go home with their pocket is already full. It's only believers who their physical eyes are open but their spiritual eyes are blind. I pray may God open our eyes. Amen. Joseph said, sir, such we need a man. 
who can help us to because the lord have said it it is a, you know whatever god says is as good as done we are only waiting for the manifestation of the first seven years and manifestation of the second seven years are you following so joseph with the understanding of that dimension created for himself opportunity to rule and then they placed joseph in the place of power man in charge of store very strategic a storekeeper is a very sensitive man in any organization look at me if you work in the procurement department in any organization you can choose to kill that company by stealing from the company you can grow rich or you can die poor if your grandfather and your grandmother is on your case i wanted to do procurement and but for god's reason now i'm here are you following because you are the one issuing tenders so you can have Mark A, Mark B, Mark C. So you, God is good. No, you will not. You not catch me. You cannot catch me here now. Are you following what I'm saying now? Are you catching what I'm saying now? Those who do not catch me, you hear me next time. If you are working now, learn how to behave. You may not be working tomorrow. I used to work with Kenya Post Authority as a port clerk. A young man who just came from school charged small money within a few months, then they sacked me after a few months. Because of stupidity. To lingia hapo na ujaluo mingi, na kuweka mziki kubwa kubwa, na speak up kubwa kubwa kwa gari, and we thank God. Na jeans kubwa kubwa, na, na, na sports shoes, na t-shirts, na goggles, zile za kuzuhia jua. You know what I'm talking about? To lengeza ujinga. Uh, don't, don't repeat mistakes your friend has done. We don't wait until you learn from your own mistake. Learn from your friend's mistake. If God give you a moment, I keep telling you every day, there are people you meet in life not to take selfie and post on Facebook. Ha! I met the man of God himself. This man, man of God, Papa, can I take a selfie? I met a woman in town. Say, hey, prophet, finally I saw you with my eyes. I said, ah. And he's, he's telling one of his friends, please uh, take a selfie down. I said, okay. There are people you meet in life, don't run to take selfie and post on Facebook. How will that impact your life? This is a man you have admired and desired to meet. When you meet him on your knees, sir, speak a word. One word can change your life. You are running for selfie. Post on Facebook. Wait. Facebook will bless you. Let me tell you. Even if you have one million followers in your Facebook, you cannot leave it for your generation. This side is not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? So you are telling your children, you know, I used to have followers on Facebook. So you are, that's the inheritance. Nonsense. You are posting a picture with the president on Facebook. So Joseph did not run for selfie. Joseph's opportunity to be glorified. He said that I read from prison to prime minister. You know, both of them are P. Prison, wisdom is the difference. Because he would have gone back to prison after interpreting such dimension of dream. I, I tell you, he would have gone back where? But he said, over my dead body, if I'm a useless son of my father. God, he... Are you following what I'm saying here? May God open your inner understanding. I, I said, may God open your inner eye. I said, may God open your inner understanding. There are things that have passed you by because of your ignorance and carelessness. I'm praying to raise generation of men and women. That when they enter somewhere, people will look at them, they will admire People say, Sir, I look at your daughters, I look at your sons. See I gave you an example of Sunday of a church where my friend went to preach. He looked at the members, he looked at the pastor, he had mercy on the pastor. I pray when people come here, they should not have mercy on my members. And they should not have mercy on me. They say, God, make me like them. Impacted by wisdom. 
full of knowledge of the Lord. Ignorance is expensive. The reason why people say I wish I knew is because they were ignorant as at that time. <laughs> are, you, are you singing in this church? Take, take advantage, sing. Because time is coming when my praise and worship meeting will be more than this you see here. You see, you cannot clap hands. We are meeting praise and worship lead team only. We are more than this congregation you see here. There will be people highly anointed and favored. Even you. You know if somebody is blessed, you can even tell. No, you can tell, no, I, I know I'm blessed, but as far, as far as this one is concerned, no, you are blessed. You, you know it's true. Either by the gift or by the voice or by the knowledge of the songs or by the knowledge, somehow, somehow. If somebody is gifted this, so if God gives you opportunity to do it now, run with it. So later, even if there are more who are signing, you tell them we have laid the foundation. Now you can build upon it. Uh, Paul did this, Paul the other, Jesus the other. We, we cannot do it alone. Let's do it together. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You are happy. You are doing it by You've been lazing around. Touch your neighbor like that and tell them, design your time and your season and maximize your moment. If that neighbor is not serious, look for one who like, like serious, tell them, maximize your moment. Shout, I receive it. If you are connected now, make good use of that connection. Some of you, if I check your phone, see contacts you have there. See contacts other people are praying to God to give them. You are the one having. What do you do with them? Just bragging. You know, like you see me like this. Eh? I can call one person like this. You can call. Where, until when shall you call? You can call. See your life. Does it reflect? A man of God told me, we are looking, we have some land we bought somewhere in Mombasa. We are struggling to get titles. And a man of God told me, he speaks to Farida Karone like this. Huh? And she's the one in the ministry of land. And we want titles. And she is telling us, we spoke 14 minutes ago. Check for 7 minutes. I said, sir, call her. Tell her we need titles. He said, no, sir. You know, we don't talk. I said, sir, if you cannot talk without anything that will benefit us, then that, that delete that number. Can I open somebody's eye? You see that you are rich uncle. You see that you are rich brother. That you are rich sister. Who is doing well financially. Don't brag that my sister flies fa first class. How does that benefit your children? Huh? Your brother talks to governor like this. In fact, the, the incumbent is his schoolmate, friend. They talk like this. See your life. See your brother. See the governor. May God just open your eye to make the right decision. You see, you cannot say amen now. No, you cannot say amen now. No, you cannot say amen now. Until you make a step of faith, that is when God will amplify your step. As long as you are keeping standing where you are, God waits where he is. God, I will not sit here and die here. Hey, we enter Samaria or we die here. So we, shoot, we will choose where to do what? Because dying is, is, the, is the answer. Whether we are here, we will die. Whether we enter Samaria, so there is no option. It's one option which is dying. So let's choose where to die. But adventure, they can allow us to live. But here, there is no choice. We are leprous. So sun will eat us, will kill us. Wild animals can find us here, can kill us. Cold in the night can kill us. Are you following? There are, our enemies can come and there are so many things that can kill us here. It's only a matter that we have an option. That either they will kill us or leave us. Men and women that are us high understanding dimensions they choose to go for it as long as God is on my side I will go for it 
is a painful thing to fail because you never tried anything in life. Can I talk to somebody here? It is painful to be a failure because even the marriage they talk about you never tried. It's better when you tried marriage it never worked. But you did what? Hey! I say it's dangerous. Are you following what I'm saying now? But I'm praying today God will release an understanding spirit to enter into my people. That they may be able to know how to discern their moments and their times. Some of us, we are running after our marriages. Our marriages left us seven years ago. The right day we were supposed to marry passed. So we are running after it. You see, you're not, you don't like me now. You can't like me now. No, you can't like me now. The right man God sent you. You see pride you brought. See arrogance. Eh? You thought you would be having dimples after 10 years. Put your hands on your head and shout mercy. If you are not doing, I will suspect you shout better mercy. There is a company organization they called you to go and work. Maybe as a messenger or as a cleaner. God wanted to use that as a door for you to enter. But you said me, clean. You, you, don't, you don't see me well. You did not see me. Now they saw you well. Now they did what? Mm -hmm. so now see your prayer. Father! Even watchman. You're a woman, you're praying for watchman job. You want to be killed in somebody's gate. I said that spirit of praying for watchmen and house girls. That spirit, I kill it on Sunday in Jesus' name. Amen. I said that spirit, I kill it in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're not saying amen, I'll suspect you. I say I kill that spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now you have the audacity to pray for three days fasting and prayer. Your prayer. What is the prayer? God, any job. Which job? You want to start with the uniform. With, the, with, with this anointing. With this dimension, I don't have I, with all respect to those who are working as house girls, with all respect for those who are working as gate men, but that cannot be a prayer point. You have three brothers, all of them one is in Kericho, one in Chemelil, one I don't know where. What is their work? You see the security farm with the motor with the bicycle, they are going to work. Or I'm a public pick a G4S, that's how I'm co upgraded. As a gate man, Narungu, and you can speak in tongues. You must deliver them. You don't like me now, and you can speak in tongues. You must deliver that brother. If you don't know how to discern your moment and your seasons, you say, God, even if my brother never gone through school, this is not his destiny. My brother cannot be standing by the gate. That is stagnation. The boss is entering. Welcome, sir. Everybody now is the boss. Well, my, good, good morning, mother. Good morning, sir. And I told you, even if you are not a lawyer, they call you a ingo. You don't like me now. You can't like me now. Ah, Waingo is a spirit released for oppression. And anybody coming from Western Kenya here, I want to shout fire. I don't like the way you're shouting, shout fire. It is in Sako and Afuta Kazi Nairobi. The only job you can give your sister is Kazi Anyumba. Am I saying the truth? You are supposed to help them by because you did not design your own seasons well. So they are also suffering. Joseph said, I will suffer once and I will save my family. I will suffer once and save my generation. Are you anyone saying that? Learn to maximize your moment. Christmas doesn't come every day. Kila siku siyo? Christmas. Christmas. 
what you did in your season will determine what you receive after your season is gone. Time comes when there is money. Time comes when you have a voice. Time comes when you are having relevance. But what will matter and what will show after is what you did during that time. Some of us, we have remained with the testimony that you see me like this. Eh? You see me like this? I used to touch money. So what? So what? You see this, my hand. Man of God. This, my hand has touched money. So what? <laughs> Did that money help your mother? Did it help your father? Did even the money help you yourself? Because you are very careless during your season of being lifted. But God is saying, you got that season, we can reverse it. We can retrieve it. We can restore the season. And now you enter that season with wisdom. There are some arrogance that are useless. Hallelujah. You know what Satan does if you want your season to pass you by? He will give you some demonic pride and some demonic arrogance. You don't walk with your feet very well. You step with, the, with like this. You, know? you, don't, you don't walk like this. No, there is a way you walk. You know, you walk and you, are, you have springs as if they are put springs on your leg. You know, the, you, you don't walk well like this. Are you following? If you're a woman with those my high things, see life. See what? See life. Everybody must, must, must know. <laughs> no problem. If you like, put one of your... There are those men who used to walk like that. You know, you know that, eh? They are bouncing. They are, their season is what? Is high. Are you going to say now? Or they, <laughs> or they sag. They bring trolls either here or here. Those who bring it here, they walk like this. And those who bring it down, they are the ones who do like I was telling you. No problem. What you are doing with that season, five years later, we will see result. May God give you wisdom not to waste any season in your life. I don't like the way you are talking. I say, may God give you wisdom not to waste any moment in your life. Christmas is not every day. <gasps> Tell your neighbor, maximize your season. No, your neighbor, you are not talking. Look for another one. Tell them, maximize your season. Number two thing, when you sleep, you are not conscious of what is happening. When you sleep, you are not conscious of what is happening. Chapter 5, verse 14 of Ephesians. Let's, let's read the scripture before you say, man of God, today is a lecture. He's not giving us scriptures. Verse 5, chapter 5, verse 14 of Ephesians. When you sleep, you don't know what is happening in your environment. Therefore, he says, give her a better microphone. Awake, O sleeper. One, two, three, go. Let's read if our microphone is not good. Uh -huh. Therefore, he says, he says, awake, O sleeper. Awake, O sleeper. And arise from the dead. Arise from the dead. And Christ shall shine. Make day dawn. Ah. Upon you and give you light. Awake. Touch your neighbor and tell them, wake up. Touch your neighbor, tell them, wake up. If that neighbor is not talking to you, they don't, they don't want good things for you. Tell them, even if the neighbor is far, just tell them, neighbor, wake up. When you sleep, you don't know what is happening in your environment. There are men and women who are dangerously sleeping with their eyes open. That's how their husband passed them like that. They did not see him. Another one, the wife passed him. He did not see. Now see them pray. Father, God is saying the one that passed was your wife. Where? Shout out here. When men slept, the enemy sowed what? Tears. The word sleeping here means spiritual sleeping, spiritual carelessness. 
prayerlessness, insensitivity in the spirit. Lion of Judah, Ray Jesus, Ray Kalabahas, Alabama, Ray Jesus, Ray. I can hear you, Lord, Ray, Lord, Ray Jesus. well what you have now tomorrow may never come if you don't plan for it well can I say that again tomorrow may never come if you don't strategize well for it ah, there is no problem my tomorrow must be greater than today my, my tomorrow has been greater than today for 10 years my tomorrow is still greater than today tomorrow may never come if you don't plan for it by prayer, supplication, dedication. I gave you an, an example here. You said I'm not holy again. Of Naomi and Ruth. How the two women plan and fix job. Did I give you the story? Boaz, sorry. You understand? How they fix Boaz, the, uh, Naomi and, and, and Ruth. You know the story? Uh, you said I'm not a man of God again. He said, my daughter-in-law, as you see me like this, I'm already an old woman. And wisdom demand that you should not wait for me to get a husband. God, let me put my hands here. Wisdom says, don't wait for me to get a husband. Get pregnant. Give birth to children that they grow of age to marry you. That is not wisdom. Wisdom is saying, get a man and marry. The woman told her, where you die, I will die. He said, this one, if I continue this way, this one, there is no destiny. So I will help her. This side is my hearing. Did you hear what I said here? Yes. She looked at her daughter in law said, This one is a mumu. If I don't help you, this one, this one will die for me here. And my generation will end like that because all his uh, children had died, the husband had died. She's remaining like that with a woman, and a woman and a woman that she can't marry. Her age is also working against her. So she saw the small girl is genuinely love, in love with the mother-in-law. But she doesn't carry a small atom of wisdom. So let me put wisdom in her. Go and bath yourself. Put yourself proper. Anoint yourself. Put perfume. That you are Christmas cloth. Put it. Now when you finish, come out. Let me check if you are proper. She came out. He said, eh? I can smell. Eh? That, that alone is good. Eh? Put your zip well. You don't know the people they put on zip will be coming here. Put it correct. Uh -huh. Now go. When you get to him, Boaz, don't sleep by his head. Sleep by his leg. Interpretation means. Are you what I'm saying here? Yes. Don't go sleep by his side. Where? And if you perceive somebody is there and they ask you, what are you doing there? Tell him, I'm your wife. If you do that now, they will say you are useless. What kind of a woman are you? You forgot. The Bible says kingdom suffereth. And the violence are being given or they take. You see, you've been waiting to be given. Now I've removed you from there. Chapter 6, verse 10 of Ephesians. Let me show you something before. Let me digress small. Can I show you something? Can I show you something? On chapter 6, verse 10 of Ephesians. Let me show you something. Are we there? Mighty God. In conclusion. I worship you. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. 
Hey, to it. You're still the same. All creations will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. You are God all by yourself. Verse 10 is saying, finally brethren, give me New King James Version. Let me show you something. Finally, my brethren, uh -huh. be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. <clears throat> Read it. Next verse. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. Why are you giving us armor? Meaning there is war. Uh -huh. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So you see there is a season where there are things that will be wild. Uh -huh. There is a season in everybody's life that will not be what? Friendly. There is a season there will be no food in your fridge. And I'm not prophesying doom. There will be a season that, you know, everybody is, there is what? There is a funny season that either God himself or the devil can allow to come your way. There is that season. Now, if you have that full armor, you will be able to do what? To stand against the wiles of the devil. Next verse. Let me show you something before I continue with my teaching. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Okay. But against principalities. And powers. Against powers. Uh -huh. Against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Uh -huh. Against spiritual hosts of uh -huh. wickedness uh -huh. in the heavenly places. Next verse. That's not my concern. Next verse. Let me show you something. Therefore. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. Okay. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Uh -huh. And having done all to stand. Having done all. That you may do what? You may be found standing. Verse 17, skip there. Skip to verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation. Now take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Why sword? What for? Because you have always been having helmet to defend. Now there is a sword to attack. Sword is not used to, to protect. A sword is used to attack. And helmet is used to protect. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Yes. But we have always been on the defensive. We have never been on the offensive. <sighs> Are you following what I'm saying? If somebody gives you a, how do you call that thing? Okumba? Shield. The guy is giving you something to protect you. But if somebody gives you a sword, to attack. Sword is for attack and the shield is to protect. Now God has given us a shield. He is giving us also what? A sword. Meaning we should protect as we attack. But our work has always been what? God protect my children. Protect my family. Protect my finances. Protect my health. We have been on the protective side. And we fall, we fail to do what? To attack. We are raising the borders of this generation. Women of war. Eh? And Abigail. Men, women that can bring Cicera down. A Cicera of your family. Your father has been playing games with that. You say I'm a woman, but I'll bring that man down. I don't like the way you are responding here. Are you following what I say now? So take me to now Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Now I've left that message. For those who have ears, let them hear what the Lord is telling the church. Chapter 9 verse 11 of Ecclesiastes. Designing moments. Every one of us have the equal ability to make it. But the difference between me and you, the difference between you and your brother and your sister and your colleague and your, you know, the difference is what you do with your time. Can I say that again? The Bible said time and chance. Okay, read again. And I returned. And I returned and saw under the sun that 
Uh, the rest is not to the swift. The rest is not to the swift. Not the battle to the strong. Not the battle to the strong. No bread to the wise. Not the bread to the wise. No riches to men of understanding. Okay. No favor to men of skill. Uh, but time and chances happen to them all. I've come to realize that God gives chance and time equal opportunity to every human being that exists that God created. Amen. A white man, a black man, a yellow man, a blue man. A tall one, a short one, a zero zero. Everybody, the same chance. Then, oh. next verse. For man also does not know his time. Now, man does not know what? I told you the greatest enemy of mankind is what I'm having in my hands. You see this thing? You see this thing in my hands? The greatest enemy of mankind is this thing. Just imagine you of yesterday. Now you are a full grown woman. You are a full grown man. It was, it was yesterday you did not know how to spell your name. Very quickly. You have already become a mother. If you are not careful you are going to be a grandmother. You see you don't like me now. No you can't like me. Are you following what I say now? For man also does not know what is time. Sad. Like fish taken in a cruel net. Like birds caught in a snare. So the sons of men are snared in an evil time. They are snared in an evil time. time. When, when it, it falls, falls suddenly, suddenly upon, upon them. Because they did not know in chapter, in chapter verse, verse 11. They did not know in verse 11. That God give time and chance. Let me tell you. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Those who are watching on YouTube or Facebook. Those who are watching here. Everybody has equal chance and time to make it in this life. The difference between you and that person you admire is what they do with their time and what you do with your time. There are those when they have time, they sit, they strategize, they calculate. Can I talk to somebody here? Yes. Are you following what I'm saying here? They used to tell us when we go to school that people who are making it in life, they sleep less hours by night. We used to hear teachers talking about that. Have you ever heard of something like that? Until it fell upon me. When the whole day, I don't have time. In the whole night, I thank God I have a good wife. And that's why you need to pray to get a good husband and a good wife. You see, you cannot say amen now. Amen. There are those who by 7, 15, even as I'm preaching, when I ask you, I'm going to pili pili. Samoja na nusu sambila nasikia nini? Anawashwa. Machi meaza kwa mzito. A little sleep. A little slumber. A little folding. Hey! That was the rule of that Are you following what I say now? The difference is what you do with your time. Some of us, you watch until late. You have a TV, you have a, C, a phone, you have data, you have Wi-Fi. You don't have time to listen to powerful messages like this one in your house. Your work is to listen to a goyge nyundo. A born again child of God filled by the spirit of God speaking in tongues. You are still watching Commandos as a nigger. In this generation. You are still watching, eh? Rambo. Men have made money. They are old. They are almost dying. You are still watching those movies. You are watching horror movie. You have time for Maria. Which, how do you call that one which is now trending? You have time for Zora. You are in mind when they are doing that thing. See what you do with your time. And then you want to experience the same result. With another lady that you admire, that at time she has a pray or read the word or sit down and do calculation. If this year end for me like this, I'll be a mockery in my family. If I go to church this Thursday, I'll pray to God, He must change my life. You cannot compare us with that woman. And you know even the names of actors in Zora. You can even predict what they will play tomorrow. 
You don't have time for the word of God. You don't have time for prayer. You don't even sit and analyze your life. There are times I sit and I tell God, my father was a pastor. Allow me not to end like my father. You know, I, I don't like the way some, some believers are so casual believers. You go to church because you have to go to church and you come back from church because service is full. It's, it's finished. What did you learn? Even God that knows you don't know. Even God is aware there's nothing you can't. Put your hands on your head and shout mercy. mercy. Chance and time God gives to everybody. Verse 11. But the difference is what you do with what? You are time. When last did you sit down with your children and tell them we need to listen to the word? Before we go to sleep, we are listening to what? To a word. One word from the Lord is enough to carry us through the whole night. One word from the Lord is, a, is enough to carry us the whole of this week. Now you have children have come home. And our children, some of us, our children have grown of age. That if you sit them down, they can listen. Are you following? The difference between you and them, that let me tell you, this life, there are only two people. A man blessed by God and a man blessed by the enemy. Let me not, let me not, let me, don't be surprised. Don't be what? The enemy we are fighting was in heaven. In case you don't know. And Lucifer was a powerful man for that matter. He was almost second in command, if I use that, forgive me for that language. Are you following what I'm saying? Because he was the only archangel who was allowed to also operate as a cherubim. And this is the group of angels that entered the throne room of God. With one wing they cover the leg. With one wing they cover the head. With one, uh, uh, that inside the throne room, it was the one angel allowed to operate in two dimensions. Highly favored. And that's why pride came in him. And the Bible says he fell like God and bring war in heaven. We are not dealing with a joker, a man who just came from my village. We are dealing with a man that has come from where his, his, his highness is sitting. He knows the rule of engagement of heaven. And he knows that once I take money from the hands of believers, I have paralyzed them. Because the Bible says money answers all things. He knows that's why many people are born again, fire filled, prepared for, for heaven, but see their hands. Some of you don't know when last you touch 1,000 complete like this. 1,000 in a shikana. Leave 100,000. Are you following? We are not dealing with a man that just... This man was dropped from heaven. We are made from the soil. The man came from heaven. He's a celestial being. With understanding of rule of engagement of heaven. When there was a discussion, let us create man in our image and likeness. When the Trinity was discussing, he knows how the details of that meeting. Because he was in heaven as at that time. That highly favored at those times. They almost say God clothed him with powerful things. He was walking like this. He was not a singer. When he walked like this, there was a musical abozalita. See, I are you anyone saying here? So you are not dealing with your young brother. So you can come to church the way you like. I'm preaching. It's like you are hearing what I'm saying. It's like you're not hearing what I'm saying. It's like man of God you should say some Swahili and mix with this English. You know, like you, you have a problem. See? Shot fire. fire. Shot fire. Fire. Chance and time God give to them all. But the difference between sister A and sister B is how they use their time. Are you following what I'm saying? With all my busy schedule, I said that I must pursue my degree. I, I thought I would graduate this month. They told me I did not finish some assignment. You know me? <laughs> you know, I can, be, I can be that careless. So my graduation will be pushed to July. So at least I have enough time to do what? To, I thought I finished everything. Because all the units I was studying, I did all the exam. I, there was some research I was to do and do some work. I did not finish. I said, but I thought I did. That man looked at me and said, sir, I forgive you. I know, I know you are scared. I forgive you. 
If you are somebody else, I will shout on you. But some of us see the way you fight to have time to sleep. Until if somebody interferes with your sleep, you want to cast that person in capital letters. Eh? You want to lay a curse on that person with what? Capital letters. Chance and time God give to them all. But time and chance happen what? To them all. Somebody shout, Father, have mercy upon me. If your neighbor is not praying well, collect that mercy from the neighbor. Shout, Father, have mercy upon me. Ask yourself a question. What I'm doing with my life in the next five years, can it make me successful? Now write that question down and for the whole of this week, try and ask yourself that question. You leave your house every day in the morning or the evening, the evening or you don't leave at all. Those who are working in the house. Now ask yourself, my daughter and my son, what you do with your life now in the next five years? Do you see yourself achieving those dreams? Don't answer me. Just ask yourself that question. No, leave, leave riches aside first. Let's handle real life. Because some of us, we behave wrongly. I said it on Sunday. Then we throw excuses to who? Did we not read it in the Bible? Did we not read it here? Many of us, we mess ourselves and then we claim it on who? Ask yourself. Write it down. And be asking yourself the whole of this tomorrow, Saturday until Sunday. At least God should give you an answer. If you continue this way, the way you are, this, this life you are leading for the next five years, will you succeed? Will that dream come to pass? Fasting, we declare you don't want to fast. Prayer, people are praying. You are looking at people praying. Giving, even your grandmother who died can tell in the tomb you cannot give. Serving God, you are too big to serve. <laughs> Me, I cannot sweep. You know, I have, I have that thing. You know, if I sweep church, there's that, that, that church, there's dust. I have, I have allergy. So if I sweep, I have a problem. For the next five years, if you keep doing exactly what you are doing, will you succeed? Now, but two questions you need to ask yourself. I write it down. If all witches were removed from your life, you see those wizards in your father's house, in your mother's house, and the altars and the pots, demonic pots, demonic altars, demonic what if all of them were removed, the way you are behaving, can you make it in the next 10 years? And leave to those children that you love so much something they can be proud of and say, Our mother, our father left this for us. You don't like me now. I say, write it down, no. If witches and wizards, all of them were removed from your case, the way you are behaving, in the next five, ten years, are you going to make it? No, don't answer me now. Get answer for yourself. Are you following what I say? Because see prayers you are praying. See a dream you have. See your behavior. Your attitude in life will determine the attitude you go in life. You had it. Now God give me some powerful revelations on radio. A man of God called me and said, don't go to radio man of God to give those powerful revelations. Radio, they don't need those ones. I say, I will give those powerful ones. And my presenter said, tell them, tweet it. Hi. She told me, sir, since you came here, I've been learning. They still like, my daughter, yes, is a very fan of us. Are you following what I say now? There are things prayer will not do because you refuse to change yourself. When you leave this place, refuse to sleep early. If you, are, if you are going to sleep early for no nothing. Tomorrow you are waking up going nowhere. Now you are sleeping early going nowhere. Now that's why you enter early and begin to have evil dreams. You finish, you, by eight, your eyes already red. I'm preaching, you say, Pastor, I'm somebody's wife. Can't you do very fast? It's not somebody's wife issue. It's your sleep I'm interfering with. No cooking. Some of us, we have house girls. What are they doing in the house? They are supposed to cook and prepare for you. Say, no, so. Are we not paying them? And this one, you want pastor, pastor, be faster, be faster, be faster. For what? You want to go? You are, are you competing with your grandfather? 
ask yourself a question. If all demons from your mother's house and your father's house were removed, the way you're behaving, are you going to make it in the next five years? You see, you don't like my face now. Are you following? Learn to maximize your moment. Touch your neighbor one more time. Say neighbor. neighbor. Touch your neighbor one more time. Say neighbor. neighbor. Maximize your time. Maximize your season. Tell them one more time, neighbor. neighbor. Maximize your time. Maximize your moment. Anybody that God brings your way, God brings them your way for a reason. For this season, God has brought me into your life as a prophet for a reason. Ah. Make good use of those people. There is something God has put in this man you see here. As long as that grace still is standing in my life, make good use of it. Don't, don't think tomorrow will, will come. I say tomorrow will never come if you don't plan for it. Ah, Papa, we have Papa here every day. Eh? No problem. No problem. A woman called me today for over 30 minutes complaining. She said she paid a seed of $1,000 in dollars, only Kenya selling, she had to go and exchange it to be able to see Apostle Suleiman, who is my mentor. After paying, she was only given one, one second. She was told that man is very busy. I told her, and hey, you left me here. The man of I thank God for my mentor. Hey, is that a joke? He came and said, Bless you. Hey! He said, Man of I thought you would lay hands and say, Leg in You're useless with your life. You're looking for big names. Anointing is not in the big name. Every big man of God is not big for you. You see, you don't like it. Not every prophet is your prophet. Every man of God doesn't carry your solution. Design your man of God. You know, you know, you know that's my problem, my daughter. If you don't like it, you get transformed. How are you? Blessed. You want me to prophesy? Hey. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Now, let me not prophesy now. Let me talk. Let me work this thing first. Are you following what I'm saying here? Anybody, God, even your ex boyfriend, there's the reason God brought him in your life. But the reason why you remain the one crying because you are stupid. Now you're saying, Pastor is abusing people on the altar. You are not smart to discern why is this man coming into my life at this time? Your work was there. I love him, man. Eh? You loved him. Why did he go? Eh? You loved him. Why did he go? Papa, if you know I love you, know? anybody go bring you into your life. Ask God, reveal to me why this woman or this man you have brought this person in my life at particular time like this. I'll draw everything I'm supposed to draw from this person. Because Christmas doesn't come every day. You see, you don't like me now. The word I wish I knew is when you see the same woman you refuse to marry, marry somebody in their chopping life. Say, hey, if I marry that woman, now see the way they are chopping life. No, don't, don't worry yourself. You are sleeping when you're supposed to. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Hey, tell your neighbor, wake up. If you don't have a neighbor, tap yourself and say, wake up. Are you following what I say now? There is what they call redwood tree. I gave you an example last week. Redwood tree. Redwood. This redwood tree doesn't grow much in Africa. But they say a forest where there are redwood trees, what happens? They are, they are, they are, their roots grows when they intertwine like this. You can do research. Are you following? That's, that's the goodness of having a man of God who understands. So if you don't follow, at least follow from what I'm saying. Are you listening? They grow and they do what? They intertwine in their roots. Why? When there are heavy storms, it cannot bring the whole forest down. Because this tree, roots are intertwined with this tree, are intertwined with this tree, are intertwined with that tree. So if there are heavy storms and heavy winds, what to bring one tree down? You cannot bring all of them. So it will just shake them, shake them, and leave them intact. If you find good people, 
that God bring in your way, make sure that you bring a solid connection that no disagreement can separate you from them. No gossip can bring you out of them. Because your protection depends on your connectivity with them. I thought I'm talking here. I just thought I'm talking here. Don't be careless with men and women that you can discern that carry something for you. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm giving an example with the redwood tree. Because when a storm comes, one protects the other, another one protects. Because all of them, their, their roots are intertwined. So even if it was a heavy wind, it cannot bring the whole forest down. But if you stand alone or you are not well intertwined or connected, one will just be uprooted, the rest will remain. That's real life. When God sent good people your way, learn to connect with those people. You learn there is a grace that God has given you or has given a friend. Learn how to connect. Hallelujah. Number three thing on how to maximize your moment. Make good use of your money and your resources. Make good use of your money and your resources. This year is our year of divine speed. And I will teach you things as God allows because we have to go with the divine speed. No more delay. I said no more delay. No more stagnation. Make good use of your money and your resources. One, give to God. Two, help others. One, give to God. Two, do what? Help others. Let me say something. There's unfaithful servant, not faithful, unfaithful servant. Amen? That his master disagreed with him over some issues. This is the story being given by our master. So it's, it, it, it's qualified if I use it as an example. Are you following what I say? That this man learned that he has messed with his boss's work. And this boss is going to sack him. The Bible says he started calling people that were owing their, that company. And asking them, Pastor, how much do you owe? 500,000. I reduce it for you by half. Uh, how much do you owe? 200,000. I reduce by half. How much do you owe? 100,000. I reduce by half. And then wisdom is drawn from there. That the young man was preparing for his dry season. See wisdom. I'm not saying, I'm not saying go and do that. But I'm telling you, draw wisdom from that. Are you following? He did that because, you know, if my boss sack me, if I go to her and tell her I've been sacked, she'll be happy to accommodate because I saved her from paying 250000 it was in the office at that time and with powers to either cancel your debt or reduce it. So he used his powers well to save for his dry season. Now this I did not hear. Let me try this. Are you hearing what I say now? What do you do with the moment God has given you? If God has given you money, the Bible says rich men have more friends. And the poor man, even those that you call friends, you still doubt them. Are you hearing what I say? You look at them, think they are friends. They are not, is it not? And when you have money, everybody wants to be your friend. They even call you friends. Some of them you don't even know if they are your friends. You know, if you have money, you have friends, and some of them you don't even know. But if you are poor, <laughs> it's more enemies you have. Why? Because you ask them for money, they refuse to give you. You become enemies. Are you following? Learn how to use your resources well. You never know. The person you are helping today may be the person who will help you tomorrow. And I'm not saying in everybody's life you must. Even Job was the richest man in the East. And Job came to a point where even Job needed somebody to console him. Are you following what I'm saying here? There was a time Job said to his friends that some of you, even the way my dogs are feeding, you can't feed. Read your Bible very well. Meaning Job was even mocking his friends. He said the way I'm blessed, even my dogs, 
You know, there are people even in this town, the way they, their dogs are feeding. Even their dogs. The lifestyle their dogs are living. If you are told, you say they are mad. The doctor who is treating their dog cannot treat you. I pray, lift up those hands. Some people are laughing. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God put, God put man in this hand. A dog cannot live better than you. I say, may God put man in this hands. I don't like the way you are receiving. I say, may God put man in those hands. I say, may God put man in those hands. A dog cannot live better than you. A man of God gave me a story yesterday of one of his members who disagreed with a friend because a friend wanted his dog to give a seed to her dog. And she told the friend, if you are not paying me 100,000, go and look for a seed somewhere. 100,000 for a dog seed. And the friend said, let me give you a deposit of 50, then I'll pay. Say, if you are not giving 100. See, I don't need, are, are you anyone I'm saying that? Now, and for you to collect a seed of a dog with 100,000, see the lifestyle that person has given that dog. You without 100,000, you, you, you are hearing it from my mouth. The last time you hold your own 100,000 like this, only God knows when last. Because it passed like this. You are seeing it on advert, that advert that comes on, on Facebook. There's this one advert that keeps coming on Facebook with money. God is changing our lives. And we must be sensitive to design our seasons. I said God is changing our lives. In John chapter 5 verse 1 through verse 8, there's a story of a man by the pool of Bethesda. In John chapter 5. And the Bible says, in chapter 5 verse 1, that the angel came in a particular season. There was a particular season that the angel kept coming. To do what? To stir the water. Amen. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. now, there is, now there is in Jerusalem by a, the ship, a ship gate, gate. Uh -huh. a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, Bethesda uh -huh. having five porches. Okay, five means grace. Are you following? Five means what? Grace. Bethesda means place of mercy. Continue. Now, there is in Jerusalem, I'm sorry, in this lay a great multitude of sick, sick people. Blind, blind, lame, lame paralyzed, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Waiting for that season when the water will be started. Next verse. For an for, angel went down at a certain time. At a certain time. Meaning, at a particular season. season. To do what? And stirred up the water. Uh, then whoever stepped in first. Whoever stepped in first. And I said in this church, if you know it is your legs that cannot move. Once the angel has gone, you are sure the angel will come again. Are you following? Just move small, small. You know how those people can move. You know what I'm saying? Move small, small, small. Make sure those your legs we cannot work are inside the water. Because there is a particular time. When an angel will do what? Will come. And any time that angel come, people who have a bit one leg strong, jump ahead of you. So wait for the, wait for the stirring of the water with, with, with your feet inside. Yeah. So when it comes to stir water, you are inside the season. Wisdom. So by the time the first one is coming to jump, you're already inside. Wait, between the one that was inside and the one that is coming, who is first? Who is first? See, you're not getting you're not getting the revelation. Are you getting this revelation? Your work is saying every time I try to move, somebody is going ahead of me. Every time I try to marry, they marry that man. Every time I try to get a job, another one takes my <laughs> Shot fire. fire. <laughs> it's my work to date, but for marriage I live for others. It's my work to apply, but for working I live for. You date a young man, you shape him, you teach him how to dress, you teach him how to put cologne so that he don't sweat, you teach him how to talk so that he doesn't talk too much, you teach him how to walk so he so he stop walking carelessly. After grooming him, you give him somebody to marry. Put your hands on your head and shout mercy. You don't like me now. <laughs> you know you can't like me now. Are you following what I say now? 
If that is the case, put your legs inside. That particular time, when that particular time arrives, who is first? <laughs> Somebody shout fire. I don't like the way you're talking. Shout fire. Every time they go ahead of me. For if an angel went down at a certain time into the pool to stir the water. Uh -huh. Then whoever stepped after, in first after the stirring of the water uh, was made well of whatever disease he had. After this preaching, you must be made well. Amen. I say after this teaching, you must be made well. Amen. Your marital life must be made well. Amen. Your financial life must be made well. Amen. Your career must be made well. Amen. Shout, I receive it. Let's stop complaining. Every time I try to go man of God, another one goes ahead of me. The angel came in a specific season. Water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? There was a particular season an angel of the Lord came and stirred the spirit of the Lord and people are being healed. Are you getting the revelation now? Because water is a symbol of what? Holy Spirit. So the Bible then means there was a particular time in this church the angel comes and stirs the spirit of God and those that are sensitive and those that are fast, they receive their miracle, they receive their breakthrough, they receive their testimony. Shall I receive it? Sit down. There is a particular time the angel came to stir the water. And the water means the spirit of God. Are you following? Even in this church, there is a time angel usually come. And that's why you see people being healed here. Others go healed, others go not healed because they are waiting for someone. Others receive their miracle, others don't receive because they are waiting for, I don't have a man. Are oh, you waiting for a man? It's okay. I'm teaching you wisdom. Somebody shout wisdom. Shout wisdom. I shall be wise. I, I shall be wise. I shall be wise. There is a season of miracle and breakthrough. It comes at a particular time. Even in a prophetic church like this, it's not every day that is Saturday. It is not every day that is Sunday. It's not every day that I prophesy. It's not every day that God heals the sick. I you want to say? We are prophetic, but it's not every day that is Christmas. Amen. Tell your neighbor, maximize your moment. I prophesy divine speed. I prophesy divine speed. May no one go ahead of you. I prophesy divine speed. May no one go ahead of you. Amen. I prophesy divine speed. I receive in your career divine speed. I receive in your relationship divine speed. I receive in that marriage they keep postponing. I release divine speed. I receive in your health divine speed. I receive in your finances divine speed. I receive in your ministry divine speed.